Uh, hello and welcome. This video will show you a quick example, quick practical example on how to create teams using Graph API and Power Automate. And what we'll do here, um, basically I'll just uh, show you how to do it and how to build queries in Graph API. So let's get started. We will use this following article from Microsoft, which explains how to create teams and manage members using Microsoft Graph. And this is a recommended way. So basically there will be two steps. First, we will create Microsoft Group by using some uh, web requests. So HTTP calls in uh, Microsoft Power Automate. And as the second step, we will go ahead and create a Microsoft team based on this Office 365 group or by using a group ID. So let's get to it and uh, let me show you how to do it. First, you're probably familiar with Graph Explorer and in Graph Explorer, you can um, actually run actual queries and uh, do things that um, Microsoft uh, is promoting this Graph API um, option of how to handle different things. So uh, when we look here, there is a get request, post, put, patch, and delete. In order for us to create objects in Office uh, 365, we will use, as you see here, POST requests, right? And this POST request will have to run uh, against uh, groups. So if we look in Graph Explorer to make it more visible, it will look like this POST. And then the API version, in our case, we will use the public version. There is also the beta one that we will use later. and then the actual query, right? So the, the, you know, the request can have a specific body. As you saw here, this would be the body of the request. And, um, you know, as an example, if I run uh, this one, so graph API, then the version, and then me, it will give information about my user. Oh, it shows method is not allowed, which is, not the case, at least it should not be the case. Let me remove this data and now run the query. Method is not allowed again. So then let me refresh the page. Probably, probably it took a while. Okay, now it works. So uh, the session timed out. So my method, you know, I, I kept getting an error. If I look at, at the response preview, what I see here, right, I see some information about my user. So I see my username and given name, job title, etc. And then I also see the user ID. And this is the user ID that I'm going to use to grant permissions. So um, this user would be the owner of, of this team um, that will be created. Uh, let's, uh, I hope it, it helps. If you have some questions, you know, just feel free to post some comments in the video or write to me. I'll try to, to explain things to you a bit better. And let's get to the actual flow now. So in the flow, uh, this is a very, very simple flow. I do the manual trigger. So it means that the flow has to be started manually. Then I initialize the original secret ID, the client ID, and uh, this would be the tenant ID. Um, and uh, these variables would be of type string. And these values you would get from Azure Active Directory, as you saw in my previous videos for authentication and authorization of MS Flow. So when we use MS Flow with Graph API, you have to authenticate and, and authorize. Uh, so that's that's the first part, right? We have this uh, values for the secret client and the tenant, and then we do the actual authentication. 
right? So we use this method post to authenticate and uh, using this tenant ID, client ID, and the secret. This also comes from Microsoft documentation. So if you uh, need to look it up, please feel free to do so. The next step, what, what I do here, I parse this JSON. So it means that uh, this request, when I send it, uh, there is a body of this request that I can parse to, to extract specific information from it. And uh, for me, the important information here is to get the uh, bearer, you know, so this access token I actually get from this area, from this parsing JSON. And this access token I will need when I run the query, uh, you know, this web request to create a new group. In order for me to create a new group, I use a standard HTTP request. So uh, if I look here, HTTP, right? This one is uh, something that you can use. Please remember that th this is a premium, so it uh, costs some extra money. It's not a free uh, license. And uh, basically it allows you to make different REST API calls. So I already have it created here for the new group. And uh, you see I'm using this method post. The URI I uh, copied from the Graph Explorer, and this is the one here. For the authorization, I used the specific access token that I received in the previous step. And this group body variable, so basically from group body, I uh, created... Um, so uh, this text here, you know, for the group body, I copied from the official Microsoft documentation. So basically from here, I copied and modified it a little bit to make sure that uh, for the user ID, I put my own user, not the user that is in this example. And to get the ID of my own user, I actually went to Graph Explorer and uh, ran this query um, graph version one me and I got this user ID. Of course, there are different ways of doing it, but you know, I went this specific way. Then let's get back here. So basically this is the body that will be um, run here. It's passed in this HTTP request. And then when I run this HTTP request, the next step also to parse JSON. So basically uh, for the schema, right? When you need to, to generate the schema, you can create, uh, click on generate from sample and then copy some uh, things like, for example, from here, you can copy this part, right? Uh, not the post, but you know, the actual, this part, right? And then you go here, generate from sample, paste the sample here and click done. Uh, if if you get some errors, that's okay. Um, but uh, normally th this, this would work. So um, if you get some errors, you will need to troubleshoot it a little bit. But um, the idea here to parse the JSON, uh, what we want to get is to actually get the group um, ID, right? Uh, because we will need the group ID in the next step to be able to generate the team. So um, in this case, I parse JSON, then I have a small delay to allow, uh, let's set it to 20 seconds, for example. This small delay allows for the uh, Office 365 group to be provisioned. And then um, to th this ID is here. And uh, so it's like a sequential, right? It goes step by step. First it gets provisioned, then we get the ID, small delay, and then uh, we initialize this uh, ID. So I save it in a specific string, and then I run the next post request, which is described also in the official Microsoft document. If I look a little lower, so this is the part here, post. Then there is the URL, which where we post uh, the content type and you know the actual 
request. So here we have this group ID. In this group ID, I replaced, you know, with my variable, the one that this created previously, based on parsing this uh, previous JSON file. So then I save it. And uh, let me go ahead one more time just to make sure that we are on the same page. Uh, so uh, this flow is started manually. Then we initialize this uh, secret ID, client ID, and the tenant ID. We do the authentication part. Then we parse JSON. From this, we get the token, right? Then we create this body. Um, that we will be using in the next stage. So the next stage is the actual group creation. It's an also HTTP call. Uh, then we parse it also to get the newly created group ID. Short delay, um, you know, assign this group ID to the variable, and then the final step to create the team. Uh, let's go ahead and run a quick test. So I run the flow. Let's see how it runs. So you see the progress. It went through some steps. Then there is a small delay. And uh, it's been 15 seconds. So after 20 seconds, it will go to the next stage. Now it goes to the next stage. It shows successful. So it means that I have a new team, so let's have a look. Uh, let me get uh, one more point. The actual, it's called group from flow. So this team is called group from flow. Let me search for it. I go to the admin center and uh, I see here there is this uh, operations group that uh, was created from flow. Okay, it's not provisioned yet, but uh, it's doesn't show here yet, but it, it's been created successfully because I had a few teams here. So I have a new one that is provisioned. So I hope it's been helpful to you and uh, please feel free to experiment. So just to summarize one last time, to make sure you build these queries properly for Graph API, you just uh, consult official documentation and always use the Graph Explorer to test it, to make sure it, it's there. You know, there are some, some options. Let's say we have something with Teams, uh, there are examples of how to create a channel or how to get some information here. So you can leverage this tool and um, then insert this information into um, MS Flow. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a very good day. Bye bye.